Hello and welcome gorgeous Aquarius. I hope everyone is doing well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that you need to hear at this time. Be sure to connect in with your own hearts throughout the reading. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate for you. Let's take a look at your first message. Appreciate everything. So this is about having a grateful heart, being very thankful for what you have in your life at the moment. So this week, affirm my life is perfect. Appreciate everything and everyone in your life without doubt or expectations. And your goal this week is to learn that the way to set change in motion is to bless and feel grateful for even the most difficult parts of your life. And this can have profound consequences, positive consequences, Aquarius, if you do this. So you are being called to start a gratitude journal or just being very conscious and aware of the blessings in your life at this time. Use your wisdom. Dedicate yourself to wisdom on this day or this week. Acknowledge one of the greatest truths you've learned and apply this truth to your life in some way. And your goal this week is to use your wisdom and feel how powerful it is when taken from thought into form. I also see this as you understanding what your heart is telling you, what your soul is telling you. Um, use your discernment, use your wisdom from past experiences to light your way. It may be important to bring humor into your life at this time and you will know if that's true. Perhaps things have been very serious in a situation or you haven't had much joy or fun or downtime lately. Think about whether you truly have a sense of humor. Healing is enhanced with humor and laughter can enlighten almost anything, certainly most day-to-day -day irritations. And your goal this week is to bring humor to everything that causes you stress as this is one of the most empowered responses you can have. So something that frustrates you, something that irritates you, or a stress that you have in your life at the moment, bring humor into that situation consciously. Practice visualization. Visualize what you need to heal or create in your life. The image needs to fill all seven chakras, so consciously place that picture into each of them. So that might be the visualization that you want to do. Perhaps it is a chakra thing, but it doesn't have to be. But with your breath, animate those images, bring them to life and feel your being. So your goal this week is to practice and believe in the power of visualization. Beautiful. Perhaps you're wanting to use visualization as a creation tool. And I see that as being very powerful for you this week. It's important to have strategy. Okay, so yes, there's a lot of emotion around a situation. I see that. But you also need a plan and you need to strategize. Perhaps pull the emotions back a little bit. So you can strategize and use your mind most effectively. Perhaps this to do with a masculine energy, a man giving love or withholding love. He's definitely holding a heart. So someone you are perhaps looking upon um, in a certain way or with a certain emotion. This person may also be offering you something. So it might be love, it might be romance, but it might resonate in a different way for you as well. So it might be an offer, an invitation, it might be something to do with your career. You have more strength than you realize. You know, you might be feeling overwhelmed and that's okay. Uh, your guardian angel wants you to know that you have more strength, you have fortitude, and you will overcome. And we have the journey card. So you may be thinking about traveling. Maybe you've just recently traveled. But this card often symbolizes with this signpost here that you are, you know, you've got a choice. And you get to decide where you go next, you know, so you've, you've got a decision to make and you're weighing things up.
There is prosperity here for you. Prosperity is flowing towards you. So be open to receiving it. Perhaps at the moment, because of circumstances, what's going on mentally for you, emotionally, there might be a resistance to knowing that you have abundance and prosperity coming your way. So it is flowing in this week. You just need to be open to receive it. Help is on the way for you as well if you need it, or it might be that you are reaching out to someone who needs help or assistance. But the help you need is on its way, so keep watching for it. Magic. There is magic around you, so expect excitement and joy. Um, this is a synchronistic event that's going to take place or a beautiful blessing that lands in your life, a dream come true. You're either going to see it this week or you will know for certain that it's going to come into manifestation. It may even be a bit of a surprise or a twist to the story here, um, but it will make you smile. Prosperity, magic, beautiful wishes. Be careful what you wish for as one wish will be granted. See, there will be a manifestation, a wish being granted, a dream coming true. Create a healthy structure. Preserve your inner world. There may be some boundaries that need to be drawn. Perhaps you need to say no to someone or a situation. Create a healthy structure. How does that resonate for you? There's definitely a particular thing going on here. You are being called to create a healthy boundary. Stand up for your beliefs. Maybe someone is encroaching on your beliefs or your values or you in some way. And if that's the case, this week you need to act. The time to act is now. It might also be connected to the journey card here. Decide, make a decision. You've got signposts here. You're going to understand and have clarity about your path forward. Be open to possibilities. The whole world is before you. Yes, opening up to those, um, to those blessings. You know, you did have a card here. Um, to remain open, I think it was a prosperity card. Prosperity is flowing towards you, so be open to receiving it. Yes, be open to the possibility. And release in intention. Move into fluidity. So you are holding a lot of tension. So that needs to be addressed this week. It really does. Maybe do something that will relax you or remove yourself from drama, whatever it is you need to do to release your inner tension in a healthy way. The spiritual teacher or the hermit energy, this is Virgo's card. So you may have a Virgo in your life that significance, but there are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you, perhaps. Shine your light as an example for others to follow and seek out a spiritual mentor if your own or um, of your own. Um, I also see that you might be a mentor of some kind or a teacher of some kind, um, but definitely seek out or, you know, ask for someone to come into your life to be a, a guide or a helper in some way specific to you if your life feels unfulfilled right now and this energy is very much following your own truth following it's interesting actually because you have two images here that are you holding a lantern this is your wisdom your inner light your intuition your heart you know it's a it's guiding you in a certain direction it might be a path that is not well traveled and so there has to be some bravery there and you do have strength and courage here so you've got that to support you although you have a lot to do it's important that you get organized first once planning is complete you can roll up your sleeves and get to work your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out so there's some things that just need to get done this week 
And this card um, indicates a very loving, kind and loyal friend who's going to be in contact. Someone with a big heart and perhaps a quick wit, maybe some patience going on there. And this person could actually be you. You can hold that energy this week. The Eight of Thought. So you may feel as though you're restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in. But that's just an illusion. It's not really true. Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to the rescue when you can free yourself. Yeah, you can definitely free yourself, which is a wonderful thing. You don't need to rely on someone else. You've worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life, such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, hearth and home. Rest assured that all these treasures and you are being constantly protected. And in return, you're going to be giving something. So you've got these amazing things and blessings in your life that you are counting and appreciating everything. Remember this week, going back to the first card here. And then you will be of service to others, maybe the earth or animals, the environment or another situation. There is a celebration here for you. There is going to be an upliftment in your energy, a celebration, a congratulations, a wonderful time in your life and difficulties will fall away. And the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon. And the timing is right to make long term plans for all your future, for a joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. And you might need to spend some time alone. You know, this energy of the hermit and the high priestess is about um, retreat, going within. You might be going away, traveling solo, but you are a very intuitive person. And there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. So take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Just be patient with the situation or with yourself. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Have a fantastic week and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.